Today, I put the legend, the gunslinger, dime drop of the six on every NFL team. Like literally, there's 32 exact copies of him in this league. Now, in case you haven't heard of him, let me tell you the tale of the tape. From Blue Mountain State, standing at seven foot two, 450 pounds, this quarterback is unstoppable. Now, first things first, I wanna give a massive shout out to the creator of this player. Their channel's on screen now and in the description. Be sure to subscribe to them and show them some love. They make really funny content. And while you're at it, join the now 7.9% of people who are subscribed to watch these videos. I'm not gonna lie, that number has gone down just a little bit since the last video. So let's see if we can get it back up over 10%, because we're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. I got a few really sick videos in production right now, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. Now let's check out these players. So it should come as no surprise that Dime Dropper here is the best quarterback in the league. I mean, 32 of them are. Now they're all 20 year old rookies and superstar X Factor. And they all have this like absolutely insane build that I had to make on literally every single one of them. So I'm literally like three or four hours in and I haven't even played a game yet. I kid you not, these videos take so much time. Now the one thing I did try to make different about them is I gave them different superstar abilities. So like Dolphins version here, you see he has Bazooka. Jets version has Run and Gun. The Rams version has Gambit. Now they're not all different, but I think you get the idea. I really just did this because I want to see how it actually plays in to like the stats they get by the end of the year. And also I want to see like if we can win every single award and set some records. So watch all the way to the end of the video to see if that happens. Now we will play, a God, he looks so crazy. We will play a little bit with a few different teams at the start of this video, just because I want to see how he plays in like different situations. He honestly just looks insane in the backfield here. But let's see what he actually does while playing. I mean, I really just want to run with him. He shook off a first tackle there. I'm going for the truck. I did get that truck. Like he might end up being the first 2000 yard rushing quarterback. Oh, he shakes it off there. But let's see what he can do passing. I want to hit Kittle, got him across the middle there. But really it is just so fun to run with a guy who is so massive. God, there's just guys all over the place, but still got it to Kittle for the first down. I probably should just stop like running out of the backfield in like the first two seconds of the play. He literally looks like a freak of nature throwing the ball here. So from the seven now, let's see if we can get his first touchdown. I want to run with it and just run through people. And we're going right back to it. I'm just going to roll out. I think I'm fast enough to get to the corner. And I am. Look at that body movement. All right, on to the next team, which is going to be the Miami Dolphins. Because I want to see him play with uh, Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle. And on the first play, I'm going deep. I saw the single uh, safety there. And there we go, down to the three. This man has a cannon of an arm. But from the three now, he's in the zone. We hit Tyreek for the touchdown. This offense might be one of the scariest with him. Wow, he is literally bigger than Andy Reid. Which means we're on the Kansas City Chiefs now. Now the Chiefs are playing in the Super Bowl tomorrow as of recording this video. Kadarius Tony actually caught it shockingly, but it will be interesting to see if they can uh, make it back to the Super Bowl again with the guy who is maybe better than Patrick Mahomes. I could probably uh, pass for a touchdown here. Can he outrun? Oh, he does outrun the defender. Oh, I don't know where to go. He's gonna spin out and not get the touchdown. I did just like really force the run there. Wow, nobody's open. So I feel like I just gotta run with him again. Can he get the edge? He does not. So you know what? We'll move on to uh, the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know why that screen took forever to develop, but we do, I think, no, gain eight yards there. But on a short yardage here, I'm just gonna run with him. I think I can make this guy miss. I do, okay, we gain a uh, nice yards there. It is really nice going from the Chiefs who have uh, receivers who cannot catch the ball to the Eagles who have really great receivers. But we are here for a specific reason and we're gonna try to get down there because I wanna try something very specific with this team. We're gonna run out at the one. I have actually never attempted this play in Madden, but we're gonna snap the ball there, hand it off and get hit. Okay, well, we're gonna try it again because I thought it was gonna work, but I did not know the button I was throwing to and we do get the receiving touchdown, the Philly special. We're just gonna pretend like that one didn't happen, but he can also catch the ball. And lastly, of course, I mean, we have to play with him on the Raiders. But before that, real quick, I wanna tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Manscaped.com. Now look, I've talked about it many times that I love Manscaped's products and actually use them in my daily routine. So I was super excited when I found out that Manscaped just launched a beard trimmer. And not just that, 
that, but the Beard Hedger Pro Kit, which is perfect for me because I actually prefer to not be like fully clean shaven and kind of have like a five o'clock shadow. The Beard Hedger Trimmer has a powerful 7,200 RPM motor. And I thought this was really cool, but it has 20 different cutting lengths with a zoom wheel that only uses one guard. The kit also includes dermatologist tested beard care products like shampoo, conditioner, beard balm, and oil, which smells really good, especially when you put it like right on your mustache. The kit also includes a travel case, beard brush, comb, and scissors. Pair your beard hedger with your lawnmower 5.0 to cover all your grooming needs. So join the over 10 million people worldwide who trust Manscaped and head over to manscaped.com today to get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use my code weeds 20 at checkout. The link for that is in the description. When you check out the sponsor, you greatly support the channel. Thank you to manscaped.com for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back into the game. If you're not familiar with him in real life, uh, this is the team he plays for on the original creator's uh, videos. So it only feels fitting that we uh, get some reps with him here. And I have one specific goal that I wanna try to do. And that is just absolutely hurdle someone. I mean, I think on this one, I have to throw it. Yep, we get the first down. But yeah, a nice hurdle would be a uh, nice addition to the video. I think we're gonna try, nope, can't get it. The Jets overall did struggle all of last year pretty much, but they did have like the number one D. Why am I just out of stamina? It's almost like running on every single play. We'll do that. So we'll take the touchdown to Devonte. Make sure we at least get one Raiders touchdown. Let's sim to the end of the season because I want to check out these stats. Okay, so we're at the playoffs now. Let's check out the bracket. And wow, the Steelers, Raiders, and for the NFC, the Saints and Vikings are kind of surprising teams to me. Now let's check out the season stats. Where no surprise, he's literally every name on the list. But the Vikings dime drop ahead 4,900 yards, 38 touchdowns, and four interceptions. Honestly, I'm surprised we didn't have a 5,000 yard passer. The Bills version is second with 4,700, 41 and three. Then the Cowboys with 4,600 yards, Chiefs, Eagles, followed by the Saints with uh, very similar numbers. And yeah, just a lot more of the same, a lot of 4,000 yard passers. But yeah, the Chiefs version had the most with 43 touchdowns and one pick. I wanna see which version did the worst though. And surprisingly, it's the Ravens version who had 1400 yards, 13 picks and one interception. But Lamar Jackson also played somehow. I don't really understand how, but he had even more yards, 2100, 14 touchdowns and three picks. So yeah, the Ravens, I guess were running a uh, dual quarterback system. Rushing wise though, did any of them put up any stats? So the Bears version of him had almost a thousand yards and seven touchdowns rushing. Eagles version had 800 yards and 13 touchdowns. A lot of them in the middle here with uh, about five yards and let's see which one of them had the most rushing touchdowns it's the Eagles version with 13 now let's see if they won any awards okay so he has literally every name on the entire list but the Eagles version won MVP the Chiefs version won AFC player of the year rookie of the year for him as well and NFC side Eagles won one offensive player of the year and I have to imagine rookie of the year yep there it is but it is just so funny to me to see an MVP list that is literally just every name is him he is him and wow this is honestly fate. The Super Bowl is the Eagles versus the Raiders. Hi, it's uh, Future Weege here. So we'll jump back into the Super Bowl in a second, but I just realized while editing that I never mentioned why he's a righty instead of a lefty, like he was in the original creator's version. So in the offline roster edit, you can't actually change the handedness. I don't really understand why. So since I had to finish editing this guy in the franchise anyway to give him Superstar X Factor, I was like, okay, I'll just change it here. But when I saved the changes, he goes back to being like the regular unedited player. So I tried for a long time to fix it and I couldn't. So I thought as a little bonus, I'd make a duplicate of the league. We're in the year 2048 now. I simmed ahead 20 years so that they'd all be retired because I want to check out their like career stats and see what records they've all set. But the top Ladime Droppa got 96,915 yards in his career. We had four of them go over 90,000. For passing touchdowns, the new record is 792. Again, the entire list is him. And this one I actually found surprising, but he actually has the all time record for rushing touchdowns. Touchdowns. 31 out of 32 of them all made the Hall of Fame. I don't know what happened to that last guy. And lastly, the one that played for the 49ers won the most Super Bowls with three. I thought this would be a fun little thing to see like how they did throughout their entire career. So I hope that makes up for the fact that he was a righty instead of a lefty. Please forgive me. But yeah, it is only fitting that he is on this team in the Super Bowl. We're gonna run with him here. I wanna just try to bulldoze someone, but can't do it there. I also feel like I haven't given a real close up of him. I mean, first off, the mouth guard is not even in his 
his mouth. Very weird to see. But yeah, he's got the vintage helmet, the neck roll, the giant arm pads. And more importantly, he is just an absolute monster running the ball. I normally don't like play favorites when I make these videos because I really don't kind of care who wins just because like if it makes good content, it makes good content. But please get that block there. We do. He is gone. He is just so fast and he gets the touchdown. The roster for this will be on the file share so you can play with this absolute beast yourself. I simmed ahead a little bit just to see how like the CPU would actually play with him as well. He's rolling out there. He's got him. Now he's down to the one. And you know what? We're against the Eagles. I gotta go for the QB sneak. He doesn't need a tush push. He is the tush push. So we're gonna jump back in the sim for a little bit just to see if this game stays close. I would like to jump in at least one more time. It's 2020 at the start of the fourth. Okay, Eagles take the lead. It's 27-20 now. And in one play, wow, Josh Jacobs 71 yard run. And wow, hold on. Hold on a second. I just realized they didn't make the extra point and they're out of timeout. So this knee down from the Eagles is going to win them the Super Bowl. How did I miss the fact they missed an extra point that ended up losing them the game? Insanity. But there they are. The two dime drop of the sixth, kind of the 12th, I guess. I don't even know. But the Eagles version of him is the Super Bowl champion. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what I should do next in the putting on every team series. And yeah, be sure to subscribe. We got a really fun video next week and I'll see you guys next time. Be good people. That's a deal, right?